Hey, what's going on? It's Chillcast, and we're continuing the Katawa Shoujo experience. Um, if you didn't check out last part, go check out last part. We talked about weird, creepy things and why we should kick people in the shin. Uh, the one thing I did notice, there was a huge debacle going on in the comment section that I was following between these people and other people and whatnot. And there was one guy who's like, I don't care about Shield. I just like his videos, but I could care less what happens to him. And I was like, why? And no, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, no, anyway, there was a whole big debacle going on. It was interesting. I like watching people debate over the internet about me. <laughs> it's funny. No, but let's continue. Katawa Shoujo. And thank you for the people that do actually appreciate both uh, myself and the videos. That's not saying if you don't, well, you know, I'm not going to hold it against you. But thank you for those who understand I do have college and a family and friends and a school life and YouTube. And I try and mix them all together. So I appreciate those who are uh, who understand that. And for those who don't understand that, well, I have college and school and family and friends. I have other stuff to do. I try and I try and do what I can. I try and play the best of, uh, best of both worlds, but sometimes it's hard, you know. So you gotta be like, you gotta be a happy girl. Student council, yeah. Oh wait, just one thing I want to say before before we begin. Sorry, let me just move away from the mic. I don't know why I really want to say this, but I really want to do it. Can you dig it? Okay, I feel better. I just really want to say that. Hmm, okay. I see. I didn't know that school had a student council. It was a very melodramatic setup, though. So it's just to tell me that. These people, man. I'm telling you, it's the Gestapo's. They lower you in, and they tell you everything's good, and it's like something shitty. Like they, it's a bait and switch. <laughs> Look at their mouth. She just wants to eat everyone. I'm pretty sure the two of them know it's because Shizun looks a little embarrassed about it, and, well, Misha's going, la ha ha Shizun quickly retakes control of the discussion, and now they're speaking. After all, it's still Misha who has the voice of whatever she says. Dot, dot, dot. Ha ha ha! Hmm, right? Right, Hitchan. Maybe you should join the student council. They could use more people. Yes! Yes, definitely! You should definitely join. Well, well, if that's not biased, you know, that's like saying a Republican saying I should vote Republican, okay? Or a Democrat saying I should vote anti-Republican. It, it's the same thing. Why, why? Yeah, give me your unbiased reason why I should do this. Yeah. Well, for one, we could hang out every day, Hitchan. It's Chan and I are both in the student council, you know. Actually, it's a chance the president. Fucking ulterior moves I got in. Is she blinking? I think she's blinking at me. Huh. I'm starting to get suspicion that Shizun and Mission might not exactly be the most unbiased people to talk about this with. Y you don't say, Hassel. You are just fucking. You are melting my mind. As if reading my mind, Shizun quickly adjusts her glasses and signs something to Misha. Ha 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 ha. Dot dot dot. <laughs> of course, we're not trying to get you to join just because we'd obviously benefit from you joining the student council and therefore have an incentive to try and get you to join. Uh, so y you're you're admitting that dot 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 you're admitting that dots. <laughs> no, we won't admit anything. I mean, a chance. Of course, it'd be nice if you join, and we'd appreciate it. But even without you and all that, joining student council shows a healthy interest in the workings of one's schools. I don't give two shits. Yep, it's true, Hachan. Besides, you don't want to spend time with us after school, Hachan. Oh, lordy. See, this is why sometimes it's hard to argue with people, because I don't know what Misha's disability is besides being a nutcase. Um, it's hard to try and get a read. Like, you don't know if sometimes they're serious, if they're being genuine, just because maybe they're a little slow. You know, I don't know sometimes. You know, but like I said, if they're just really good at acting or if they're genuine, both of them seem to be trying hard to look their cutest, although they are already pretty cute to begin with. Ah, Sal, that's my boy. That's my man. You just go in there and be like, all right, here's what we're going to do. You want me to student council, I want to have sex with both of you. So what do we got to do to make this happen? And that's how you go into any negotiation. N -n negotiation. Negotiation. You go into it because you got to know what they want and what you want. You put it both on the table and that's it. So let's say you go into and you're going to buy a car. All right. Him. He wants to sell you the car. You want to pay cheapest price. You go fucking boom, bang it, kick the goddamn door down. You walk up to his desk, you motherfucker, this is what I want. All right, maybe pull a gun on them if you have to. This is what I fucking want. And then you just, you like, $15.99. $15.99, I want this used Matchbox Max car right now. And then he's like, well, the best I can do is $20.99. And you fucking cock the gun back like, I said $15.99. And there you go, negotiation soft. That's a horrible way to do it. Never do that. Seriously, that's really, really fucking bad. Don't, don't do that. Well, 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 my negotiations are really shitty. Dot, dot, dot. So it's settled then. Welcome to the student council. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No, 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 no. Aw, see, Sachan? Of course it wouldn't go so easily. Uh, see, she's trying to do this little entrapment bullshit. She'd probably be good on the police force, get me to say things I don't mean, get me to confess the crimes I didn't do. Shit. Yep, 
That's right. Though it'd be boring if it went that smoothly. Oh well. So Chan owes me candy now. I don't know you, Candy. Wait, no. Who's Chan? Oh, she's Chan. Wait, you were betting on this? <laughs> hey, my life is not a game here. I could die any goddamn moment. Shizun seems very intrigued by this, and Misha signs it to her. The aggressive glint returns to her eyes. Ooh, she's got feistiness. I like feistiness. <laughs> That's interesting, Chan. Let's play a game. What, what the fuck? This is a really big segue. That's not what I said. What? How about rich man, poor man, hit Chan? If you lose, you have to join the student council. <laughs> no, no. No, absolutely not. Rich man, poor man, hit Chan. I like that. Absolutely not. Definitely not. Oh, why not? Because I'm not retarded. Because both of you have the same incentive, and therefore the same goal, which is to get me to join a student council, right? Dot dot dot. Yep. Hey, and that isn't my goal. But this means that both of you can keep up with me, and I'll be at a clear disadvantage. So I'll have to decline. I'm a man of science, and proportions, and quantum physics, and uh, qualitative methods, and my odds show me that the two of you will fuck me in the most unbiased and unequivocal way possible, and I will lose. Possibly. In, the, in a very painful fashion. Dot dot dot, smiley face. Hey <laughs> Chan, I'm very offended. Are you saying you don't trust us and that we pull something so... so di disingenuous? That, that makes me sad. Sorry? Sorry? Try to tell where Shizun's influence ends and Misha's thoughts begin. Dot dot dot. In order to atone for hurting a young girl's feelings, you should definitely join the student council. Atone? What do you mean atone for like... Seriously, she's using goddamn big words and like words that mean different things that I don't think she means. Atone someone's feelings. Get the, get the hell out of here. No. How about a game of paper football save rich man, poor man? Uh, paper football? Yeah, it's a game they play in America. 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 Game of America. You make a paper triangle and then you try and shoot it past the goalpost. And the other players make them with their fingers. Isn't it cool, Chan? It's the ultimate form of competition between two people, Chan. Man, these people. I guess when you're disabled and you can't really have legs or arms, paper football is the ultimate form of competition. I feel like a dick for saying that. Dot dot dot. It's also played by elementary and middle school children, said Chan. Ha ha ha! That means it's a game that really separates the boys from the men. I'm a man. I'm a guy. More like the boys from the slightly older boys. Anyway, I'm not gonna play it either. Just the fact that you know about it means you're probably surprisingly good at it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's true. How do you know it, Chan? Shizun frowns at Misha, telling me that she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so readily. I wouldn't say that I'm happy with their attempts to get me to the student council, but I'm a little curious about what the student council does here. I've never been on one before, or ever known anyone who's a member, so it interests me. It's also kind of like Shizun and Misha, so maybe it shouldn't, it wouldn't be so bad. Dot dot dot. Okay, Chan, how about Risk? The game of world domination. Oh, you could dominate the bedroom if you want with those pink drills. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's really fun, Chan. You fight for control over the world with armies and everything. Sounds like Shizun would be good at it. Goddamn Nazi dictator. If you want to play, we can after school. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, oh, really, Sachan? We can just play for fun, Chan. Sachan hasn't played in a long time, so if you want to, there's no strings attached. Well, well, okay. Okay, okay, perfect. We'll see you after school in the student council room, then, Chan. Oh, God. Wait, wait. Why there? Because that's where we keep the game. <laughs> oh, God, fuck me. I grimace to tell them how much I do not like this, but it's more for show than anything. So in the end, I agree. But only after getting Shizun to acknowledge I don't mean anything... I don't mean anything concrete just by accepting to take a look and play a game with her. I mean, seriously, it's not like we're, we're pledging our allegiance to something and we're not really working on a relationship, we're just, we're just playing a board game. And that's all board games mean. Sometimes board games can just be for fun. Unless you put money on the board games, then you want to kill someone. Lunch ends and we go back to class. And the game freezes. Oh, Hanako! Oh. During afternoon classes, the long-haired girl comes back and sits down in her seat without a word. Again, no one seems to notice, or if they do, no one says anything. I want to ask Misha about it, but I don't want to be too nosy. There should be a girl with no nose here. That'd be interesting. And then you couldn't say nosy. Or, <laughs> I smell what you're up to, because that would be rude. You know, because it would be. After school, Shizun and Misha quickly find me by the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering each flank in case I try to make an escape. I feel a little offended, but I've been considering it. Nevertheless... I'm a bit disturbed that enough people have made a break for it in the past that they're on their guard. Well, just think about it. Two crazy chicks who probably like you want to invite you to the back room where no one else is? I don't know, man. I really wouldn't too be on my wouldn't be on my guard that much. I'd kind of be like, hmm. Well, let's see. Should Chaos Love Doctor Professional, Doctor MLG, wants to go in the back with two exquisite ladies? Well, I don't see what's wrong with the situation. The prognosis looks pretty good. Prognosis says I'm gonna have. 
penetration tonight. Or it could just be that they're going to come in the back, tie me down, stab me repeatedly, wait until I'm bleeding out to death, and then screw me over there, and then make me join student council all in an effort to save my life. And once I do join the student council, they resuscitate me, bring me back, and then I'm a fucking zombie in the student council and my life is gone. That could happen. It's, it's totally plausible. It's probably the female or female feminist conspiracy agenda thing. Kenji was probably right. I should probably go consult him about that. Anyway, I digress. So, I'm on my guard. What's with the escort? This doesn't really make me feel very comfortable. In fact, it makes me feel a little dangerous prisoner being transported into this cell. Fuck that. <laughs> what's wrong, Chan? Dot, dot, dot. That's what's wrong. I don't know what the hell's going on. That's right. We're just going to play a game of Risk, remember? <laughs> oh, God. We're going to go into the closet. And I'm just going to, like, see Risk there while I'm being raped. And I'm going to be like, this was a risky situation. Ah! And it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know, Mitch. This all seems a little sinister to me. I start thinking that when we sit down to play the game, they'll tie me down and torture me until I agree to join the student council. I fucking knew it, Chan. I fucking knew it. That's how. We, we, we gotta stay strong. We gotta stay fucking strong. Well, that's highly unlikely, but still, for some reason, it just seems like it would be so plausible. They look so nice on the outside, but so sinister and evil. She probably takes out, like, some, like, her drill. She probably detaches her air and just stabs you and drills you like the fucking Bioshock shit. And then she laughs as you bleed to death. And then she... I don't know what she does, but she, like... I don't know, just lays in the blood and like I'm telling you, that's what the fuck happens, man. You think I'm wrong? You should watch we should play Katawa Shoujo, the the medieval times or the the nightmare Katawa Shobo. Whatever. Getting to the student council room is the simplest turning two corners from where we start. What? That's it? This makes you guys being on so top seems a little silly. Dot dot dot. <laughs> being on top is never a little silly. You get to control the flow. It's always good to control the flow. Cause then you get to just dictate what goes down. Not, not, not the other control at the top. You guys are dirty. I meant because simply, if you're on the top, you can decide what gets through you and goes to the bottom because of gravity. A trickle down effect, man. Stop thinking about sex, you, you people. That's not true, Hachan. So the chance is there was life that when their life is threatened, people have shown capability to pull off superhuman bursts of speed. Life is threatened. I was just talking about how the room is stupid. Her expression's unchanging. We should sign something amusedly to Shizune and makes a baffling face and puts her hand behind her back, looking pleased with herself. Ha ha ha, I'm gonna fuck him. Ha ha ha. Hmm 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 and hmms cheerily. Stop that. I know you heard me. You've no excuse, I'm like Shizune. I know what's up to you. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. This is where it happens. 